Well, Rosie is about a family who've recently been made homeless and they're living in emergency accommodation, which kind of means that they're staying in hotels and each night they have to find a new hotel. Alfie, what? Your trousers, hon. I think it's the finest screenplay I've ever read. Uh, I cried from start to finish. It's a beautiful piece of writing. It's harrowing and it's, um, it's a story that needs to be told, especially today. I wanted to tell a story about a woman in a bad predicament. In this case, there's no violence or there's no physical violence, but actually that family is being treated very, very violently by society. I read it in one sitting and uh, what hit me first when I read it was the, the short time span that it's set in. I think with a voice like Roddy's behind it, people will sit up and listen. Hiya, I'm looking for a room. Just tonight, like. Okay, thanks anyway. My job, I felt, was to get in behind the eyes of Rosie, the main character, and live the day from her point of view. Her life is in the car, and the terror is that her life will stay in the car. Rose, are you living in your car? Rosie, uh, she just spends her entire time in the car, on her phone, dropping off the kids, ringing phone numbers, ringing hotels to try and find a place, and then collecting the kids again and hoping that, you know, she'd have a place by six o'clock before it gets dark. Her ambition and her drive is to keep her family together at all costs. She's a very, very patient, way more patient than I'd ever be, be if I was in the situation. And um, she'll kind of do anything to, to help protect her family and keep them safe. Come on, why don't we live in this house? We have to go, oh, please, no. Yes. Sorry. I'm sorry. Is there nowhere we can go? Where? Somewhere safe. Rosie and her partner, John Paul, have been together since they were teenagers. They've had four children and they love their children. Their children are absolutely lovely, but they've nowhere to live. One of the things that was great about the script, um, that you immediately like the family and you warm to them. Rosie and John Paul are a brilliant couple. I think they're, they're really supportive of each other. Like all couples, they have little spats, but at the end of the day, they are a team from start to finish throughout the film, and that never falters. He's a, a supporting partner to Rosie. He's like, a, I suppose he's kind of like a rock in a way. I think nothing can break the love that this family has for each other. Uh, no situation's too, too dark, and they will do everything in their power to fight and stick together. But what it tells me about the human spirit is there's little trickles of hope that come out if you stick together as a family. We're not homeless, we're just lost. <laughs>